Last night, Primetime reported that First Lady Jill Biden's Secret Service detail was infiltrated by foreign operatives. Two foreigners, one of them linked to Pakistani intelligence, were posing as Homeland Security officers while they were bribing White House Secret Service agents with rent-free apartments and drones and flat screens. Now, at the time, we just thought it was only the First Lady's detail that was breached. But today, we're finding out the Secret Service agents entangled in this little bribery scheme were also assigned to Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. So these guys had access to the highest levels of the White House while raking in gifts from foreign intelligence operatives. As if this White House didn't have enough problems already now, they're looking at a massive Secret Service scandal. Jeff James is a retired Secret Service agent. So, Jeff, what strikes you immediately about this scandal? Well, what strikes me first is that it really never should have happened. When they were first approached, when these Secret Service employees were first approached by these people who were trying to curry their favor with gifts and, and trying to find out more about, their, uh, about the, the intricacies of what they did, they should have reported that immediately and it should have gone up the chain and it should have been stopped before it ever started. So you have that. Do they issue polygraph examinations for people at Secret Service? I mean, they should be doing do that, that on the regular, right? Correct. Well, it is right now it is part of the pre-employment uh, process. And then if you're involved in an investigation, it can also be ordered for that. Well, they're going to have to submit to polys after this for sure. What do you think these foreign agents were after? Um, was this possibly uh, a foreign intelligence um, gathering plot, or were they maybe looking to possibly assassinate um, VIPs here? Well, it, it could have gone either way, and that's what's the scariest part, is that we don't know where this was going. So it could have been something that they did want to gain access to the persons the Secret Service protects in order to commit an assassination, or they could have gotten to the point with these people where they made them an asset, even gave them a thumb drive and said, hey, put this into a computer on the Secret Service network and, or the White House network, and they would have had access to all the Secret Service cameras and alarms, possibly to shut them down and, and create some kind of organized attack. We would actually don't even know if one of the agents was compromised in the way you described it. So that's, that's pretty scary. Uh, are we going to have to have the Secret Service director fired? You, you know, I don't, I don't believe so. The, the Secret Service is still a, a remarkably, remarkably uh, filled with integrity. Everybody there is laser focused on a mission and laser focused on, their, uh, on, the, on what's right in front of them. I really think that this is an outlier. I, I hope know the so. men and women that I, I know the men and women that I worked with are certainly uh, brokenhearted about this and, and hurt that it happened. Okay, well, uh, not as laser focused as they need to be, but uh, they have some cleaning up to do, that's for sure. Hopefully it didn't get any farther than what's been reported. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.